right guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the shutter speed review assignment here in Photo 3.4. We're gonna go over each of the four different shots and some tips on how to get the best shot from each one. I'll show you how to set up your camera and how to make your photos look awesome. Let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with the window light portrait. So let's get our camera settings set up. You can see I'm right here by this huge window. I got my model, which is Chase, my dog, who's a little bit of a crazy pup. Hopefully he'll do okay. So come on over here so I can show the camera settings here. Of course, we're gonna be with our mode dial in TV to get started. For the window light portrait, we want our shutter speed to be set to one over 125. We're gonna have our ISO set to auto. We're gonna have our white balance on auto and our auto focus on one shot. Those are most of the settings you need to worry about. And remember for a window light portrait, you want your subject to be as close to the window as possible and you even want their face turned towards the window. So what my dog here is doing is perfect. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna try to focus right on his eyes since this is a portrait. Oh, he moved. hey, Chase. Look right here, puppy, Chase. Hey, Chase. No. Sit. Sit. Come here. Look right here. Chase. Chase. Hey, look over here. There it is, right there. Oh, that's perfect. So it's a little bit dark. I accidentally hit the underexposed by one stop button, which is too bad. So that's my exposure compensation right there. Somehow that got set to minus one. So let's put that back on zero. And then, oh, here we go. Perfect. Don't move. Focusing right on his eyes, giving that nice shutter speed, gives me a really nice picture, which I'll show you up on the screen. And that's it for that one. Okay, for this next shot, we're gonna do the panning selfie. So for this, we're gonna use a much slower shutter speed. We're gonna go one over 15. So remember, one over 15 is a slow shutter speed that lets in a lot of light. Here, point it up here at me. Okay. So that's gonna let a ton of light into the camera. We can't do this outside where it's really bright. It's not going to work. Or if we do, it needs to be later, like 7.30 as the sun's going down, as it's starting to get dark. But if you do this outside on a bright sunny day, your photo's gonna be way overexposed. So here's how I do this. I'm inside in my house. It's kind of dark in here. I think this is gonna work just fine. I got all my other settings are exactly the same. I'm still at one over 15. I'm at one shot. Everything's the same from the last. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna set my zoom to 18 millimeters. So you might wanna to switch to your 18 to 55 zoom lens for this. I'm just gonna hold the camera out like this as far as I can. I'm gonna press down the shutter release with my thumb. Look, oh, pay attention where you're pointing the camera. I'm gonna press down the shutter release with my thumb so it focuses on my face. And a panning selfie is taken by just going like this. Focus and then. And just take a bunch of photos as you're spinning around, trying really hard to hold the camera perfectly still and stop before you get so dizzy that you fall over. All right, for this next photo, we're gonna do a fast shutter speed photo, like one over 2000 is gonna be my shutter speed. Remember, that's a very fast shutter speed and fast shutter speeds don't let in very much light. So you have to take these somewhere where it's, where it's really bright. So here we are outside. It's mostly sunny, it's a tiny bit cloudy, but it's definitely gonna be bright enough. I got my daughter, Sophie. She's gonna jump for us because we wanna freeze motion. Don't take a photo that doesn't freeze motion. That's not good enough. You gotta actually show me some motion in the photograph. So that would look something like this. All right, so I've got my shutter speed set. I got my daughter set, I'm zoomed in. I gave her some room because I'm gonna ask her to jump up into the air. So I gotta make sure I leave room above her head so I don't crop off her, uh, the top of her head. And then we're just gonna try to time this. I'm not shooting at like a high speed. I'm just doing one shot at a time. And I'm just gonna have her keep jumping until I get the shot that I want. So let's go for it. Ready, self? One, two, three, go. Perfect, one, two, three, go. Great, one, two, three, go. Awesome, one more, one, two, three, go. Okay, so those worked out perfect. I was able to freeze the motion. I got the fast enough shutter speed that took care of the shot for me. I move now. And yep, you're good to go. And uh, these look just fine. Okay, guys, here's the video for our last photograph, taking photos in the dark. Uh, I wanted to try to get out and do this at night, but uh, I'm old and I get tired by the time it gets dark. So I'm just going to do it here in a dark, my dark classroom. So of course we're going to have our mode dial on TV. We're going to set our shutter speed to about four seconds, somewhere between. I'm actually going to go a little bit longer based on what I'm going to do. Let's try 20, 20 seconds should work in this situation. You can see this right here is flashing. That's telling me, hey, 
it's too bright in here for what you're about to do, but I'm going to turn the lights off so that won't be an issue. So the hardest part uh, about shooting this, uh, these photos in the dark is going to be focusing. So you got a couple different options. You can either be taking pictures of things that are bright enough that you can focus on them. For example, cars driving by on the road, or you can focus with lights on and then turn the auto focus off and then turn the lights off. Or you could have your subject like shine a flashlight on themselves and then focus on them and turn the autofocus off. So I'm going to stand on one of those posters over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through the camera and I'm going to focus on that poster using my autofocus options, of course. And then once I have that in focus so that I don't have to worry about the camera trying to refocus once I turn the lights off, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to switch this switch right here from AF to MF. And now the camera won't try to refocus. Super important to uh, get that step done. So let me get focused up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got my autofocus turned off. I've got my spot focused on where I'm going to be standing because I'm going to be in this picture of myself. I just got my set shutter speed set to 25 seconds. Hopefully it's dark enough in here for that. Ideally, I would have blocked out those windows to make it even darker or just do it at night and... Uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just take this picture. And I got a lot of time. I got 20 seconds, 25 seconds. So I'm just going to walk out here. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to turn on my flashlight. See? And I'm just going to do a little light painting. Nothing fancy because this is just the demonstration. I want you guys to be a little bit more creative and have some more fun with this than I'm doing. I'm just kind of giving you some tips. Turning my flashlight off walking out of the photo while it's still being taken and there you go that's how you take photos in the dark at night